modern pot. That old one you had was a real antique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you're much interested in stuff like that. <laughs> so I notice. Don't you ever get tired of this bachelor existence of yours? Not really. I've got too many things in my mind. Now, you must admit, it's much nicer to have someone around to uh, <clears throat> talk to over your coffee and toast. Mm-hmm, sure is. Although I must admit, you don't do very much talking. You are probably the most private person I have ever met. So you tell me. Wish I knew what you were thinking about. Right now? Yeah. yeah I'm curious about why Jeff Weber changes his mind about my following up on the Jameson report. After he so specifically told me to do it in the first place. Oh, listen, I wouldn't worry about that, Mitch. Uh, I called you as soon as I talked to Heather and Jeff, and uh, I just didn't realize that you had already sent in the request for the report. Do you know why he changed his mind so suddenly? No, I, I can't imagine. Uh, all I can think of is that Heather's been so terribly nervous about this whole Cal Jameson business right from the start, and Jeff probably just doesn't want to upset her anymore. Uh, anyway, they asked me to call you about it, and... Try to get it changed, but it was too late. Looks like Heather and her cousin Susan are both, both very nervous. Who, me? I'm not nervous. Oh, come on. Come on, I got eyes. Been on edge all night. Hey, I'm just a little tired, that's all. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm not looking forward to a long day's work at the restaurant. All right, yeah, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, Big day for the American restaurant business. Boy, I'll say, we are going to start serving turkey dinners at 1 o'clock. Yeah. Everybody else gets to rest. So I hear. What are you going to do with your day off? Going to the game at State. I thought I'd go over to the floating rib, maybe. If I can get a table, my pool can get me a table. Oh, I think you can. I'll even save you some turkey. Oh, don't bother. I'll have a steak. I'm not conformist. You certainly are. Do you enjoy being a nonconformist? Why do you ask? Because sometimes I think you do it deliberately. Do you? Maybe. Hello? Hello, Mr. Williams. I didn't expect to find you at home this morning. Why'd you call? That's a good question. I thought so. Why'd you have an answer? Well, I stopped by the hospital this morning to take care of a few things, and suddenly I found myself staring at the four walls feeling sorry for myself. Why? Well, I'm a big sentimentalist over things like Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah, Monica and Alan are at home with the family, and here I am all alone in this strange city. Well, I'm sure you'll survive. What makes you so sure? Call it instincts. Besides, you're a survivor if there ever was one. Seriously, Mitch, it's no fun being all alone today. You have any plans? Yes, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. What are they? Oh, nothing you'd be interested in. Just thought I'd go to a football game. I love football. And then I'm having dinner at the Floating Rib. My favorite restaurant. And mine, too. You know, Mitch, you're not very good at picking up cues. Would you like some company at the game? I've uh, already arranged it. See, I'm going with a bunch of guys I work with, Burt Ramsey, Lou Hollister, some of the guys over at the police uh, department. <laughs> like an annual event, you know. No female company whatsoever? Big right. state. Goes by a ticket. Hey, have a nice day, all right? Thanks. And happy Thanksgiving. I forgot that was the uh, reason I called in the first place. Well, thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Who is that? Uh, it's Tracy Quarterman. Should have guessed. Hey, you know something? I like you a lot better when you smile. Can I have a smile? Thanksgiving, Miss Quartermain. Thank you very much, and to you, too. Misery loves company, Dan. I'm glad to see you're working today, too. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Tracy, but I didn't come here to work. Oh, I was hoping we could go over the new figures you said on the operating costs for the new wing. I'm afraid it'll have to be some other time. I came here to cheer up a dear friend who is working today. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow will be fine. Until then, happy Thanksgiving. Same and to you, you Jesse. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, Bobby, my brother might be calling from Long Island to check up on me. 
I'll be in his office. I will transfer all calls. Oh, Bobby. You know the football game that's playing play today? How does one get out to the stadium? Just take the road along the harbor to the campus. You can't miss it. Just follow all the traffic and be sure to get an early start. I will. I'll be sure to be there for the kickoff. That is how they start a football game, isn't it? Well, it just wouldn't be Thanksgiving without a little hot cider, now, would it? No, almost said it's delicious. Thank you. Come on. You want some, Scotty? Oh, I should do. Thank you, Mrs. Grant. Laura, Thanks, Scotty. What kind of plans do you two have for today? Thank you. Um, we haven't given it much thought. No? Yeah, you know, we were just going to take a walk and maybe wander around the campus. You know, it's such a great day out today. Mm -hmm. You know, we could go to the game if you want to. Um, no, I don't think so. Well, how come? You like football. You had a wonderful time with that same game last year. Yes, but, uh, well, a lot has changed last year. If football doesn't change. Hey, this is the biggest game of the year in Fort Charles. You know what I mean, Dad. I don't exactly look forward to being in a crowd of that size. Yeah, but, Laura, you wouldn't be alone. Now. I'll be there with you. Laura, you know crowds. Nobody seems to ever pay attention to anybody, especially not a football crowd. Yes, I know that. But I don't want to run into a lot of people I know, the people I haven't seen since... You know what I mean. Laura, I wish you would stop worrying about that. I can't help it, Scott. Yes, you can, Laura. If you don't start sliding backwards, now you've made a lot of great strides toward facing up to things. Yeah, you sure have. Yeah, the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. Well. All right, listen. We'll take the walk anyway. Now, if you don't want to go to the game, Laura, we won't. All right. That's my girl. I'll go up and get my coat. Okay. Good. Thanks for the assist in pleading my case, Derek. Scotty, no thanks are necessary. I think you're right. It's still going to be hard for Laura, but uh, you know, it's going to get easier with time, as long as she isn't intimidated by things that people say and, and think. Yeah. Oh, Scotty, uh, yeah. don't forget that Mrs. Grant wants to have dinner at 5.30 today. Oh, yes, Dr. Wolf. Well, we'll be back in plenty of time. Good. Set? Yeah, we're off. Let's go. Bye, Dad. Bye, honey. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, honey. Well, enjoy the game. Yeah. We'll, uh, we're watching you on television right here. Right. Yeah. Would you like a little more apple juice? No, thank you. It's still good. Is there anything I can do for you out there? Oh, no, not a thing. I'm very happy to say that everything is under control. Oh, good. There's one thing you can do. What? Sit down. Relax. Just enjoy your day off, both of you. I mean, you get so little time here alone together nowadays. I'm just sorry that Jeff and Heather couldn't make it. Oh, yes. I would have been nice if they could have, but they, you know, they both would have enjoyed coming. I ran into Jeff just a little earlier at the hospital. I brought me up to date on everything that happened with Jameson. Yeah, Heather told me about it yesterday. Where I hope that Jeff isn't getting mixed up with some kind of a criminal. Alice, I don't really think he wants to get himself mixed up with him at all, but you got to realize he desperately wants to find out everything he can about his son. I'm sure Heather feels the same way. Well, yeah, sure she does. That's incredible. To think that Stephen Lawrence could still be alive. That's a little frightening, too. That's wonderful. You know what that means to Jeff and Heather? That that could change their whole lives. Yes. But I certainly hope that that man is not some kind of a fraud. I mean, I would think that Jeff would be taking a chance of being parted with all of his money and getting nothing in return, and I certainly would hate to see that happen. Alice, I think that is a possibility, but I think it's worth the risk. Because I know what kind of financial situation Jeff is in. Leslie, I, I volunteered to loan him the money if he needed it. Oh, sure. I had better get these things all washed up. Poor Jeff. About being caught on the horns of the dilemma. Yeah. Hey, let's us do something, okay? Oh, I don't know. I'm really very foggy today. Well, I have the perfect antidote. We'll go outside and have brisk, fresh air and go for a nice long walk, too. Hey, it is beautiful out there. I think it'll do you a world of good. Yeah. Well, uh, Audrey did invite us to come over for a while today. Well, that's great. I, I haven't met, uh, is it Audrey's niece? Uh, yeah. uh, what's her name? Anne? Anne, I've yes. met her yet. 
I tell you what, we'll go for a nice walk in the park, and then we'll drive over to Steve's and say hello to everybody. Sure. Okay. I, um, I said something to you yesterday. You remember what it was? Well, we both said a lot of stuff yesterday. Yeah, well, this is something that I don't think you would ordinarily forget. I didn't. You said we have a lot to be thankful for. I meant. You agree? Yes. And at the top of that list, we have each other. Yep. But I think we both know that it's not quite the same. Leslie, of course it isn't right now, but it will be because all we have to do is concentrate on exactly what we want and make it happen. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. Hey, look, trust me. Love me and believe me. I promise you that everything we want, we'll have. Mister, that's a mighty big promise. That's because I know I can keep it. Do you hear what Laura said earlier? What? About how everything has changed since last year. Honey, that's life. You know, things do change. Yeah, I find myself thinking about last Thanksgiving when uh, Laura went off with Alan and Monica. I remember. And she missed Thanksgiving dinner. I was so upset, and it seems like such an insignificant thing to have gotten upset about now. Yeah. Last year's problems are not this year's. Yeah, I wish I had last year's problems to worry about this year. It'd be a lot easier. Sorry, I'll go get my coat. Don't you think it's about time you took a break, Mrs. Brewer? Not yet. Jesse, go ahead. It's very quiet here. I can manage. Well, maybe. At least it might stop Mr. Rooney from asking me every five minutes. Listen, Deb, Tracy Quartermain says she's going to a football game. Why don't you go with her? <laughs> Jesse, I'll make you promise. Take a break with me, then I'll get lost. It's a deal. But only until I pick you and Bobby up for dinner tonight. Oh, Dan, you know, honestly, I really hate to see you waste your day off. I never consider being with you a waste. Oh, you have a gift for the blarney. And you blush easier than anyone I've ever seen. Shall we go? <laughs> Dad, beat him, Joy. Yeah. Bobby, I'm leaving now. Will you remember about my messages? Sure. You are really dressed up for a football game. Am I? I've never been to a football game. What is one where? I thought the purpose was to keep warm. You certainly will in that. That's the most beautiful fur coat I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Did you get that in Paris or somewhere? Uh, funny, I can't remember where I got it. It's old. Happy Thanksgiving. Bobby, will you call Heather at the Taylors and tell her I may not make dinner so they shouldn't wait? Sure, should I tell her why? Yeah, I'm on my way up to uh, scrub with Dr. Levine. He's got an emergency case coming in right now. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Heather, hi. This is Bobby Spencer at the hospital. Listen, Jeff just raced through here and he said to tell you not to wait dinner because he's going to be late. Oh, did he say how late? I don't think he knows. He's on his way up to the scrub room because Dr. Levine has an emergency, so he's probably going to be a few hours at least. Oh, all right. Thank you for calling, Bobby. Say happy Thanksgiving to everybody for me, okay? Yes, I will. Bye. Goodbye. 